Hey, I'm C Avocado, and today I'm going to be showing you how to build this. It is a semi-automatic cocoa bean farm. It means it harvests automatically. Well, you don't have to harvest it, but you have to plant it. In the next video, I'll be showing you a fully AFK version, which is just insane. So this is my friend's cafe that he built, and he decided that he wanted some cocoa beans so i made him a cocoa bean farm and i'll just show you it working so all you have to do is hit this button to harvest and it harvests all of it unlike most it does not include any water so now let's get to building it what you're gonna want to do is grab yourself some pistons and go like that Say you have your floor here, you're going to want the pistons here so when they push up they cannot be seen above the floor. And imagine your roof is here, and this is going to be like a little thingamajiggy in the middle of the wall. Then you're going to want to grab yourself some jungle logs and do this. Then up here, put some more pistons facing down. This will push you back down. Now, you're going to want to grab yourself some redstone blocks, and by redstone blocks, I don't actually mean this. I mean blocks that you place redstone on. For example, I like to use orange concrete, and I just deleted everything in my hotbar. Put one there, and you're going to put up, up 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 but if you're at the wrong height like this and this is off which you do not want it to be you're gonna have to be doing some funky stuff like this maybe like that and there is a problem I've run into before where there's a block which is powered all the time because the piston is powered by the resin torch and the block sometimes and you just gotta fix that by doing some of that then you're gonna want to put a line of redstone on top or wherever you want to put it as long as it passes pistons and do that now put this along here and a repeater going into this at whatever side wherever you want your button to be in then just run this out to where you want your button to be like that and that should happen let's give it a quick test okay here we go and it works perfectly so guys I really hope you enjoyed this video don't forget to like and subscribe because there's lots of usefulness on this channel <laughs> Goodbye, I will see you next time.